What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here to watch a movie that we could not be more excited to watch. That is Evil Dead Rise. This is going to be a groovy reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell YouTube something right away. This is all fake. <laughs> Everything in this movie is performed by a professional cast yes. and crew. Audience will all understand it. Any violence is not real. It's all okay? effects. And we're going to do what we can to censor as much as we can to keep you happy. No, it's all fake. Got to say these things now, unfortunately. But hey, leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. Who needs to Necronomicon to subscribe? That doesn't make any sense. Just subscribe. <laughs> do it. Why don't I also give a special sponsor shout out from our G Fuel friends. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys the true down low of everything here. Oh. Here's how re-ups work when you get a re-up for a sponsorship. It's because, wow, they shouted them out. And look, we got so many sales off of it that we want to re-sponsor them again. We'll even give them a little bit more dough this time. That's not how it is at the Real Rejects. <laughs> they just like me enough because they know how much I love this product. They even lowered my rate. <laughs> and I said, that's fine. Just send me more G Fuel <laughs> because apparently I can't convince you guys enough just how great this stuff actually is. No matter That's how good. many videos I'm drinking it in that are not sponsored by G Fuel. I just want to give you guys the truth that I just work with them constantly. Not for the money at all. <laughs> it's just because of how much I love their product. And everyone who knows me in my personal life knows I really mean it. It helps me with my energy and focus throughout the day when it comes to filming and editing. And I work out at least five days a week. And every time before I work out, unquestionably, I take one of their powders before I work out as my pre-workout. And they let me say whatever I want. What other brand would I want to work with? <laughs> Link in the description box. Special promo code using Reject Nation to get yourself some G Fuel. Seriously, do it if you haven't done it already. Also, uh, massive thank you to everyone who has been following us at our Patreon page, Becoming Super Sexy Rejects, especially all the movie reactions we've been covering. I mean, so many of you guys hopping on over there, pulling through action watch along for Evil Dead Rise, available for Super Sexy Rejects. Cover a whole bunch of stuff exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. <laughs> Nice, nice touch. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Good self-aware joke. Meta. You look like you were gonna shit a brick out sideways. You could have taken my head off. You just scramble your face up real good. Good to know. I'll come back later. Shouldn't you go see if Jessica is feeling any better? She'll be fine. I gave her clonopin so she can sleep off whatever the is wrong with her girl is such a pain in the ass it's like the opposite oh, of 2013 no, she's possessed you better wake up in the next half hour or i'm gonna be forced to go drown that brainless meat puppet sorry ass i think she's gonna do just that yep <laughs> literally <laughs> the intense horror of my nightmare came over me <laughs> In a most melancholy voice, sobbed. Let me in. Let me in. It's dead eyes. Well, Red. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is she about no. to do? Who's the brainless me? Now. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. Let's talk about it opening. What a rip. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell happened? Ooh, nasty. Jessica? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Still twitching. Whoa. Wow. That is awesome. What a title card. Awesome. Damn. That's <laughs> a great go. shot. <laughs> Let's go. 
Oh, goosebumps. That's different. Pregnancy is the real horror. Huh. It's a movie about parenting. Making her own tattoo gun. Yeah. I'm sure it'll come into some violent play later. You're not going to any protest on your own. Tell Danny to turn the music down. I put it on that myself. <laughs> Damn, the composition of these shots is awesome. Yeah. Cassie, you better not have my scissors. <laughs> Don't go, <got him>, Mom. <laughs> it's a great setting of the stage. Yeah. Your boyfriend's a weirdos. You're the weirdo. <laughs> Jeez. Good. Jeez, that's gonna come in handy. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. they're a loving family. <laughs> I like this family dynamic. It's very different. Yeah. There's a lot of artistic expression within the family. Yeah. Especially the mom being like a tattoo artist. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh, damn. Bear, you bitch. Surprise. <laughs> that was very real. When this building used to be a bank, a teller got caught stealing and hung himself. And if you walk around with coins in your pockets, his ghost hears the jingle. Hunged himself. Gosh. I only believe what I can see. Get ready to see some shit, lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some shit you can never yeah. see. Check out what I got your dad. Uh oh. Did he abandon them? Danny, go take my car and get pizza with your sisters. Well, She's the hottest, evilest looking mom I've ever seen. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Perfect two quadrant <laughs> crossover. Why didn't you tell me how? I called you. First time when he told me he was leaving, second the night he moved out. Could have sent a text. I mean, you only called twice. People don't answer the phone these days. You can sleep on the sofa tonight, but I got a pass. <sighs> the shrill sound design. You guys gotta yeah. watch this with headphones. Oh, <laughs> oh my <yeah>. gosh. <laughs> it's like, send shivers. <laughs> hey man, that's one of the hallmarks of a good Evil Dead movie is they are shrill. <laughs> There's no point in calling her back now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this tractor doing in the garage? Yeah, no, those priceless beverages. Stay down! <laughs> Whoa, what a crazy shot! Wowie. Is this building like on a haunted ground or something? Yeah, it must be built on an Indian burial ground. There's a chainsaw on the side of that truck. Oh, is there? Yeah, a tree trimming truck. Damn. <laughs> it's an old bank vault. That nah, really is haunted. It's cool. It's usually what's hidden in a cabin. Just hang on. What you looking for? Money? I mean, I'd be curious as shit, too, to see what's down here. I mean, to be fair. Yeah. Start up an urban exploring YouTube channel. <laughs> the Pope's exorcist. <laughs> I was like, those guys Easter eggs? <laughs> Relax a minute, Bridge. <laughs> Oh, great distorted sound design. Yeah. Is it a voice? Is it the billboard? Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Christ. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus wept. What right about now is when I lose interest? <laughs> Boring. <laughs> I go, I'm not cool enough to stay down here. <laughs> <laughs> Neither brave enough nor <laughs> stupid enough. <laughs> 
Wakanda. Here we go. <laughs> Can you hear her up there? What? Quake. Send her hiding in the ducts. <laughs> oh no, don't kill the cat. 13th floor. Is that them? Oh, you never take the elevator after a quake. But you're on the 14th floor, lady. Just leave it, Dan. Uh, 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 my, my friend. Oh. oh, my friend. Now you've done it. Ah, oh, great. Looks like stop motion. Yeah. It's like Hagrid's magical creature book. Danny, please close it. <laughs> I got stung by a jellyfish at the beach before. I don't like going underwater. I don't think there's any weird sea creatures in the tub. Hmm. Nah, you should check. Oh, great shot. You're such a bitch. <laughs> Don't. It's like he was meant to find this. Yeah. I would like to present what I believe to be one of the three fabled volumes of Naturum de Monta. <laughs> the book of the dead. The dead. Three volumes. Its bindings are made of pure human flesh. Its passages and etchings inked in blood. Human blood. The recitation of which proclaim to allow contact with supernatural forces that exist beyond the thin veneer. Oh, kid. <laughs> I know we got to get there, but damn. Shall now commence reading aloud the first of the spiritual resurrection passages. Kanda. Oh. Let's take it over. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, my. Shit. It's coming right for her. Oh my god. No. Oh. Whoa. Damn. Cool. <laughs> Holy shit. shit. That was awesome. This is really cool. Yeah. It's almost inspiring. Not the context, but you know. <laughs> the style. This the is visual the stimuli. <laughs> I knew I did not trust those cables. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, interesting uh, tribute. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, no, no, no. No. Oh, damn. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> oh. Gotta respect the cleverness on that. Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> How fun. Oh. Oh, boy. It's like learning how to use the host. <laughs> yeah. 
I had the most beautiful dream. We were together sitting in a tall forest. The wind was clean and the birds were singing the sweetest melody. Melon. Huh? Melon. Me melodies? Oh. All I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open and climb inside your body so that we could stay one happy family. Yep. <laughs> It's in me. Oh. It's me. I'm the evil. It's oh. me. Ooh. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 Damn. That's fucked up. Elevators uh, laughing at you. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I mean, she was fine. And now she's gone. Whoa. <laughs> 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 so genuinely creepy. <laughs> I want Dad to come home. He will. You said Mom was going to be okay. I thought she would be. I would love it if her dad's Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Here's, the, here's the cameo you've been waiting for, baby. I don't like being trapped. Everyone is on edge enough without guns getting fired in here. I like that the other tenants aren't, like, outwardly creepy. Hmm. Like, I like that there's, like, a small communal aspect along with the family. I don't know what to do, Al. You're the one who always has the answers. No matter how busy you ever got, you always found time for me. For everyone. Damn. This dead eye's milking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drumming up the suspense. <laughs> hey, Becky. It's Ellie. Just uh, calling to say hi. And, um, Becky? Oh. Prey on her guilt. You have to. I'm burning. I'm burning alive. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the shit? Great use of the phone. <laughs> right on the eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. She's alive? She's burning up. Oh, wow. oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yikes. yikes. Oh, this movie's so clever. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it because it plays on the psychological turmoil of the family, too. Yeah. Like a lot. <laughs> Mom, mommy's with the maggots now. Oh, hey, <laughs> evil. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you. Mom, stop it. Ah. Oh. That was mean. Get away from her, Brids! What's happening to me, sweetheart? I don't know, Mom. I do. <laughs> of course you do. I'm free now. Free from all you fucking parasites. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, no! No way. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Let me kiss it better. Whoa, what the shit is going on? Jeez. Ha, 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 ha. 
Oh, oh no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Someone Heimlich that poor boy. It is so dark. Knock, knock, let the devil in. <laughs> Malevolent as I've ever been. Mm -hmm. That's just scary. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh no. Damn. Oh, the guy's a gun. Found his gun. Ooh. Great style. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Don't you think Mom looks just like one of those pictures from that book? You never should have stolen it. This isn't my fault. This is your fault! It's like... Oh. It's kind of his fault. Ah, uh, jeez. Your gas bill is going to be ridiculous. Kill the little girl. <laughs> Show me this movie means business. Yeah. <laughs> it's not real to you. Kill a kid. Ah, <laughs> uh, that tongue infection probably too. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Is that uh, blood or ink? Looks like ink. Oh, jeez. Oh, fascinating Gorgak. How do they do that? It looked real. Oh, there you are. Hey there, cutie pie. <laughs> I was just feeling sad about me and your dad. But he's here now. We're getting back together. Isn't that right, my darling? Oh, she's good. Interesting. <laughs> no, oh, geez, she no. doesn't deserve to die. Oh, gross. Open up and let us in, Cassie. We can be a big, happy family again. I hope so. You don't look so good, Mom. Nothing a big old hug and kiss from you won't fix. <laughs> Open up now. <laughs> this is amazing. No. That's it. <laughs> do it for Mom and Dad. Ugh. Uh, don't do it, kid. Come on. Ooh, no. Whoa. Open a door like you open your legs, you stinking groovies. <laughs> uh, I'm not a groovy, you psycho bitch. Oh, oh, she's working through some shit. Yeah, okay. Stephanie will protect us, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Nope. Okay. Yep. Daughter screwed. That's too bad. Yeah. I feel bad for her. They really had me convinced the kids would be okay. <laughs> Damn it. What are you looking at, honey? Uh. Oh! Uh. Uh. I don't know what you're watching. Ow! <laughs> oh my god. I don't know you're looking at this. Ugh. Oh I gotta kill the creepy crawlies that I got inside my tummy. <laughs> oh, those eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like having things inside my tummy. <gasps> I don't like this. 
like esophageal tearing, too though. <laughs> Do you want to bat? <sighs> no! 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 no. <laughs> Kill her! <laughs> I don't care yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is beyond saving. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. For the love of God. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you can top the glass chewing for me, man. <laughs> now bash her head in. She's half your size. <laughs> Oh. It came back, and now it's got a real head on it. <laughs> Damn, great effect. Yeah. <laughs> That poor little girl. It's a great thing that <laughs> moment happened. That was that came out of her. That was a big surprise. Yeah. Oh. This video is brought to you by BetterHelp.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five bucks a month. <laughs> you can work your problems out too. Is what happened to Bridget and Mom gonna happen to us? I'm not gonna let that happen. I promise. Oh, you did a mom thing. You'd be a good mom someday, honey bath. Oh, yeah? You know how to lie to kids. <laughs> Great delivery. <laughs> I thought I should tie her up. Just in case. That is a good idea. I want to listen to that vinyl. It's too dangerous. Well, uh, who gives a shit at this point? You need disc three. I listened to the first, and then he spoke the words on the second. I guess I'll start at the other end then. Just in case. Yeah. How does this get to the cabin? That's a great question. Demon possessed Cortez first, rotting him from the inside out. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh, that glass moment. Yeah. <laughs> Still thinking about it. I can feel it in my mouth. <laughs> no. No, movie. No, movie. Don't do it. I tried to kill what were once my brothers, but they danced in its flames and reveled in its burn. Is she going to catch fire or something? Great. Oh, she's smart. Ha <laughs> ha. Smart. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. That was great. <laughs> oh, she's right there. But they arose again, rotting and rage filled. Wow, that is a quiet dead body. Careful, Danny. Whoa. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, oh shit. to the both of you. Did it stab him? Yeah. Oh, oh he stabbed her. <laughs> uh. Right in the bicep. <laughs> I 
This horror will not stop <laughs> until great. innocence is destroyed. <laughs> great. Wow. Be my <laughs> that tickles. I'm sorry, Cass. Oh, I will swallow your soul. Oh. Bro, what are you doing? What Going are you the doing, baby? Huh? Two souls. Oh, how cruel is this movie gonna get? Ellie waits in hell for you and your unborn baby. Whoa. Whoa! They would not. I think they might. <laughs> yes. Ooh! <laughs> she had her scissors. <laughs> Some of these shots are pure Sam Raimi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have a chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> How's your hand feeling? <laughs> Are you going to be a mom? Yes. She made a choice. Mm -hmm. The two lead actresses are amazing. Yeah. And such great contrast between them. Fire escape. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. No. Yes, blast it. Boomstick. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, damn. That was scary. That was a really good jump scare. Yeah. And that floaty motion, like the old Evil Dead. You have no idea what it's like to bring a child into this world, Beth. She will know. Yeah. Oh, ho. That's my gun, you thieving. <laughs> oh. Oh, Mr. Fonda. Whoa. <laughs> 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 uh, Banshees. Everybody here dies by dawn, Beth. Dead by dawn. Evil Dead 2. Dead by dawn! Dead by dawn! Dead by dawn! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Evil dies tonight. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this movie has a solid grip on escalation. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What are they doing? <laughs> so this was what it was like in the shining elevator. I know. That shit is probably so hard to get out. What are what they is doing inside of her? What why are they doing this? They need her heart or something? Uh, oh. Are they forming into like a centipede of sorts? Like a king rat yeah. <laughs> evil deadite? <laughs> Go be with the cat. Come here. Wow. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> overload it. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Great reference. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the blood gets off at the second floor. YouTube, it's not real blood. <laughs> Corn syrup, red food dye number 12.
Oh. Let's see it. Let's see it. Your eyes got to be burning. <laughs> oh, you said there was a chainsaw down here? Well, there was a picture of one on the side of the van oh. that had the wood chipper on it, but someone will find a real chainsaw somewhere, I, I bet. <laughs> It does feel like Sam Raimi and Fetty Alvarez made this movie. Yeah, right. <laughs> with with Lee Cronin's like character based the Buick. It's a Buick. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, great, great. There are some Easter eggs in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. It's coming. It's coming. Cool. Wow. It's like the thing. I Truly. love it. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. King Corpse. <laughs> amazing. He says, more efficient to combine to become that <laughs> than six spread out bodies? Cover more ground is six spread out bodies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit is intense. Yeah. Oh, oh gross. Oh, I love how they're handling the perspective on this. <laughs> oh, what a great effect. That is impressive. Damn it. Run. Evil Dead, run! <laughs> no! No! You gotta be kidding me. Cassie? Cassie! <laughs> Did you say Fonda's tree surgery? There's gotta be a chance on the truck. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wow. Yeah, there is a chainsaw. What the shit? All I want is your little head, baby girl. Whoa. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> get away from her, you bitch. Come get some. Come, Come get, get some. some. <laughs> Ow. Now grab the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hug. what a neat effect. <laughs> that is some impressive ass shit. I can't get over it. <laughs> yeah, that's some new. <laughs> no, no, none of the chipper. Now grab the chainsaw. Kick that Meg in the teeth, Jason Statham. Turn it on, Nice. Hey, she bitch. <laughs> oh no. That's aggressive. It's like the end of 2013. <laughs> the blood rain and all. Help me, Betty Boot. Only my sister gets to call me that. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you really do look like mom, and you're going to fail miserably just like her. You stinking horrible grooming. Uh, wow. God, the trick is always in the chainsaw, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the chipper helped, but... Yeah. <laughs> Always that chainsaw. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Wow. Two final girls. What a journey. I'll take that with you. <laughs> yep. Passing of the mantle. This is going to be a bitch to get on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what will make the cut. <laughs> Blurry reactions. Oh. Who is the dad? Please let it be Bruce Campbell. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they can everybody. make it anybody, but <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Oh, she's Four. the one who went on vacation. Anyway, all my early morning moans aside, we're still gonna have such a fab weekend at the lake. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't mean to be a downer or anything, but I was actually thinking of taking a rain check on this whole trip thing. Not a chance. I'm picking you up in 15. Bye. Bye. Wow, doesn't even smell down there. <laughs> yeah, didn't notice any of the torrential blood outpour. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, on all sides. Oh. Oh, he wrote it too? Well done, Lee Cronin. And Rob Ted. There's the Bruce Campbell cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Snap diggity. Yeah, man. Oh. Well. These pages, too. Oh, wow. That was... Well, well done, Dave Garbett. It's aggressive. It just kept building. Yeah. No, I Great mean, editing, too. Seriously. Fantastic editing. Beautiful. Yeah. There's like a point, I don't know, like 45 minutes in the movie. I was like... It's not too bad, <laughs> like in terms of like the violence and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this I, is really going on now. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, kind of like just grips onto you at a certain point, and just like doesn't let go. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, it's got this, yeah, really steady build, and then once it crosses a certain threshold, it does become like intensely, you know, carnivorous and gory. Like I think pound for pound, twenty thirteen probably still has. Slightly more, <laughs> slightly more in terms of just like gore set pieces, you know. But this one had just all of that intensity, and yeah, it it kind of filled the air in between in other ways instead of just being balls to the walls, gore, 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 while still having that, <laughs> you know, quality. Yeah, I mean, the 2013 one was so aggressive that it was just kind of funny in how aggressive it was that it yeah. wasn't necessarily. Like I, I I really enjoy that one for just how hardcore it is. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't call it scary. Like this one's actually like I was. There were times where I was like, "This is really scary. This yeah. is a really scary situation." And to not have it play on like a remake of Evil Dead and just to be a, but have the familiar stuff with the you know Necronomicon, and they don't they don't ever explicitly state the word deadites. Yeah. But to have the deadites, to have like the make of deadite king queen thing at the end was awesome yeah. um but they they what well, they did such an exceptional job at um i think better than like any of the evil dead movies i would any of them movies i would say uh the, i think the one they specifically credit as a dead out in the credits um is the character work here they they actually really get you to care about the characters and i love that they made the set of characters a different kind of family dynamic because you it could have easily just been the archetypes of what you would normally see with a single mother mm. and the three children that she has. Uh, but they gave each one of them uh, hobbies and interests and personalities that are very different than what you normally get in these kinds of films. Yeah. And uh, it, right down to the mom, too. Uh, mm -hmm. bo both both the women as well. Um, it felt like a real family yeah. and, and one where, yeah, like, you know, everybody kind of has to pull a certain amount of the weight in the house. Everyone's a little probably more grown up than they should have been at a certain age. 
Yeah, but none of the kids, even a little girl, none of them are like overly precocious for their age or some shit like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, they're not Hollywood kids. <laughs> yeah, but then also working through the. I mean, do you remember the characters? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, the oh boy, this this the main the main character the the sister Auntie Beth I think is Beth, Beth yeah I think is her well, name Beth and Evil Mom all right yeah. just uh, for Evil sake of, sake of conversation here yeah um but Beth and her the shit she's working through is kind of being judged as someone who's like not mature and responsible enough yeah but it's like these like subtle some of them are very you know right on the nail digs but then there's this this underlying tension between them of someone who hasn't just grown up enough and felt like judged by her sister. Yeah. But the way the movie managed to take everything that works about Evil Dead mm. and not fully sacrifice the fun qualities about it and nor get overly bogged down with wanting to be like a heavy psychological piece either, it had this great middle line of keeping it with that kind of energy that uh propulsive quality throughout the whole thing but never never succumbing to to one way or uh, too much to one way to the other i thought it was really well balanced i was so impressed with the way they did this because like after the 2013 one we we had ash versus evil dead which just took it right back to the like the super campy fun version yeah and then to like you couldn't put like a bruce campbell ash character in this and, and get away with it i mean you could but for what that journey has evolved into you need a new set of characters yeah and to take that new set of characters who are complete strangers to all this uh was was a smart maneuver and because it gave it something that felt personal and the, and the way they play on the psychological turmoil uh, was excellent that was the part of it that i was so impressed by was like damn this is a real like debacle when you don't know what the hell's going on <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no totally and and i think i mean i i definitely sort of agree with everything you just said and it's like yeah like you could you could pair ash up with mia in 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 some context but this yeah i like how they've managed to make this feel like its own thing but also like it's still growing out of you know everything that came before i think it's a really interesting mm -hmm. franchise that they've built out of this because in some ways i do think it is sort of like uh, I mean, like, you know, when Prey came out, everyone was talking about, like, oh, all you need is, like, you know, a couple tenets of tone and, you know, the Predator. And I feel like for Evil Dead, all you need is a couple tenets of tone because they're all about these, you know, presences, these beings that just torment you. Is there a person Oops. that's... Just a flag on it? Yeah. Groovy. Lover. Groovy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, yeah, it's like, you know, as long as you have the book and as long as you have you know these tormenting you know just gleefully maniacally evil demonic spirits you can kind of do anything inside of that framework i feel like and i think that's the smart thing and, and what's cool about this is like you said this feels like it's definitely out of the tradition of sam raimi people are getting slimed left and right like and it certainly seems like this had to have been a sticky and and like uncomfortable adventure for the actors involved but then it has the aggression and the tension of the fetty alvarez take and then i think what lee cronin brings to this which is really nice is at least watching that one film of his which i believe is called a hole in the ground uh you know like that i feel like that's kind of one of those a24 movies that that has that created helped to create that idea of like the really intense trailer but it's more just like a taut psychological kind of horror-ish drama and that's you know like about a, a a young woman trying to you know like raise i can't remember if it's like her, her little brother or something like that but you know he brought this intimate family quality into a place that now has all those satisfying elements that you know a movie like that maybe sets you up to think will be there but aren't as much the priority whereas here you know you have the benefit of you got to go extreme for evil dead and two you have the sensibility of compassion toward who this family is and it doesn't do too much you know reveling in like oh we got to build the story like i thought it moved at a really nice clip but it gave you a full portrait of who these people are and what's going on and then you know they stumble across the book the way anybody stumbles across the book and I like that, you know, they borrow that idea of, of, I guess there are three volumes so they can kind of, you know, you've got the one in the woods, you've got this one, maybe there's another one out there. And, and in Army of Darkness, I mean, they have three of them on hand in some way, although the other two are like fake or whatever. But, but yeah, like this had such beautiful like low light photography 
and like all these split diopters and some of them are used in the way you're used to seeing them in a horror movie but many of them i thought you know created i thought they used them across the tone instead of just like here's one really cool shot it's like no we're gonna do what's in the foreground what's in the background guide your eye around like it's just so engaged in how the filmmaking is communicating all this stuff and yeah it's like i thought this one did nicely i i associate evil dead movies with being shrill and mocking in a lot of ways and and you know kind of always out to like poke you and make you squirm and i thought this one was cool because as compared to the other ones yeah you do have those moments of breath and air in between and you do have at least a, a more sort of gradual feeling build to yeah this intense chaos and it's like contained it's like a bottle movie in so many ways yeah and, and it does a good job at getting you a sense of a, that they have a chance at escaping mm-hmm. because they all you got all you know is they just got to get out of the building yeah <laughs> like as long as they're out of the building they're fine yeah and it's that that real difficult journey <laughs> of just getting to that parking garage and exit <laughs> yeah and i think they do a, a really they excel at that uh with cre- really creating what the environment is and getting you an understanding of of the layout and never relying on too much on things like it yeah it has these like claustrophobic qualities but it, but because but more than claustrophobic it just feels like really just contained yeah and because of how contained it is it doesn't. It, what I like is that it doesn't rely on the claustrophobia. It just relies on this is. There's not much where you can really run to <laughs> to get to get yeah. out of the situations that you're in. I really do think that even if you haven't seen, um, Evil Dead before, like you really don't need to. No. They, they they just ha- they have some like fun winks and nods, and I I feel like for people who like Evil Dead, they'll they'll enjoy this movie hopefully i mean it seems like they did right i feel like people are this movie's been killing it i mean yeah yeah, it's it's made huge money and everybody who is a fan seems quite pleased i mean you know everyone's debate is comes down to like oh where would you rank it but everyone seems pretty enthused overall i think it's one of the better ones in terms of like an actual movie i mean in terms (laughs) of like a well-rounded movie with like characters that you all around care about in some ways this is the most of a film yeah you know? no exactly yeah because because like i love the 2013 version as well but you know like some of the dialogue in that could be better blah 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 whereas this you know had a thoughtfulness about it and yeah i, I really liked all the family members and two they got me kind of off guard because i should have assumed most everybody would die but at first i was like oh, okay so you've got these other tenants to add to the body count but no i mean you lose most of the family you know except for the 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 small child you know the little cassie yeah. and uh can't go that far yeah. you know and and they they flirt i think they flirted with the line nicely on certain things like i was like are they gonna rip are they gonna rip this kid out of her yeah. stomach right now it would have been a little too much for me i think that uh, would have uh, crossed yeah. over into a different kind of torture yeah, movie yeah. at that, that point w- that moment um i thought they did a good job at messing with the audience because i mean to me i would have been like it's a little too much <laughs> I thought they were a little too far there yeah because yeah, then you're jumping up a different caliber into your daredevilish your geek show human centipede serbian film yeah kind of and then that's the thing too is you have to figure out what is going to be disgusting make people score make people want to look away but not be like that is the magic i think is is finding the fun times intensity that doesn't cross over into just uh this is unpleasant yeah, this and is i don't want to be yeah, i don't want to watch yeah. it because i keep it creative like yeah. even the gore gags are very creative mm-hmm. i was surprised by how uh creative they were yeah i think you know like because sometimes with the 2013 when it's like i don't want to make it sound like we're just sliding it sometimes it does feel like they're just really mean and it's practical <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure you know sure, um, sure. where here like it, it does get mean and vicious yeah but it, it never they, they always found a way to capture it in a way that was still th- thought out even with the glass bit yeah you know like the way they mess with the lighting even on the the swallowing and it poking out mm. i think that shot's in the trailer i just forgot about it yeah um it got or, overshadowed by the cheese grater <laughs> i don't know the glass one's the one anytime they do a character who like chews glass that that already yeah. like messes me up. Like, yeah, oh, blah, 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 blah. I feel it in yeah. my mouth. I can taste <laughs> yeah. the blood. Yeah. It's it's not good. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that already is like disturbing enough to me. And yeah. they just kept like hammering it home there. 
Where did us respect? Uh, I think we're in a day and age now where they like kill off kids <laughs> and stuff. Like Big that. respect for killing those kids. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Halloween Kills did it, or Halloween 2018, whatever it was, yeah. did it. No, Evil Dead Rise did it. Something about when you do that, you go, no, it's movies, it's movies. Movie means business. business math, <laughs> yeah. I want you to know they'll kill off anyone. Kids aren't safe here. Um, well, and this had yeah. tributes and Easter eggs in a way that I thought was nice because they weren't ever really flying them too far in your face i mean you know chainsaw is gonna chainsaw happen. especially though is, that's the one where you, you, know. you that has to happen but if you had no idea it would still be cool and fun and a nice surprise it's like i feel like the most overt easter egg really is the shining elevator <laughs> yeah and then the rest is you know stuff if it's like they're chanting dead by dawn and it's like if you know you know but if you don't it's still eerie and creepy and it's a part of the scene you know it's not just Hey, remember? It's not member berries as much, you know, as people like to say. Yeah, I kind of feel like the opening scene actually really helps with setting a really good tone mm -hmm. for the adventure you're about to go on. Otherwise, it might have just felt like too serious of a psychological drama. Yeah. But having that opening scene at the lake and then even making fun of the drone the shot. Drone. <laughs> yeah. So good. I love how they just decided to show that to us. Yeah. Um. And then reminding us of where Evil Dead comes from. Like, clearly, there's reverence for the Evil Dead franchise here. It doesn't just feel like a director stepping in going, I just want to make it my own. You know, and they do. They make it their own. But they do it with honoring what came before. It yeah. it really does feel, like, with Fetty Alvarez and now with Lee Cronin both, it's felt like they really put time into figuring out whose voice can jibe Again, with what's come before, keep some of that, but also bring something else to help expand on this. And I thought, yeah, they, they seem very conscientious in who they choose. And, I mean, Lee Cronin's been out there being like, I got four more ideas for movies. What do you <laughs> want to see next? So, like, I would be excited to see him return, but I would also be just as excited to see some new blood, you know, take the reins. And I think that will help Evil Dead. Like, it's one of the most consistent franchises, I think you can and say. And weirdly, one of the most inconsistent. Because yeah. whenever the one comes out, it's a success, amongst fans especially. Mm -hmm. And then they go... Can't do a follow-up, sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to wait another five, five, ten yeah. years. 2030s has been ten years. Like, Yeah. Do, hey, well, they had the show in between, too, and sure, even that show was sense. very beloved, but that got canceled. Yeah. Um, and, like, it just didn't get enough viewership for And I know uh, Bruce Campbell has talked about specifically on the, the sh what was it, Stars? Hmm. Specifically put it on Stars, they thought might have been a mistake for the kind of viewership Stars expected to generate for producing that show. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, and that's where a lot of the default, that's where a lot of the fault of what viewership comparison kind of came down to. Like it was it actually got good views, but not enough for what Stars wanted. Yeah. yeah and, and I mean, uh, I imagine uh, like I got but, Stars just for that. And then <laughs> Evil Dead uh, 2013, that's obviously, like that did not, uh, that did well. And they wanted to do part two, but that never happened. And, yeah. and then uh, Army Bummer. of Darkness wasn't a hit, but then <laughs> it gained like a cult following. Like it is a really consistent franchise, but in terms of like follow ups, I'm like, I never, I, I never hold out. I'm just like, we'll see. <laughs> like, it's the greatest response this movie's yeah. been, as successful as it is, too. I'm like, who knows? Knowing this franchise, probably never see a sequel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and that's the funny part, too, is I mean, I hope the theatrical release has helped because that was the other narrative was like oh this was originally intended just to go right to streaming so so we watched it how they originally intended yeah. but you know they put it in theaters and it has i don't know if it's done better box office than 2013 but i get this that's just the vibe i've gotten because it's over 150 million or more yeah. now you know well this movie i think with evil dead too you also need um evil dead as well i mean i think with <laughs> evil dead you need to have great practical effects like it, it mm. relies so much on that and uh, even with something like army of darkness which with as, as wacky as that film gets, they use as much practical as they can. Oh yeah, and I I think this movie also generates a lot of great practical effects, and the performances are incredibly strong between the mom who turns, but like prior to her being a mom, the, the mom who turns Sutherland or whatever she's <laughs> she's actually as just yeah. a human being. Yeah, and I like the tribute to the. Uh, the, the vines wrapping around, but they do it with ele elevator cords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was clever. And then her as the evil mom, as the main villain for this, I thought was really smart because usually the first one who turns is they're just trapped or incapacitated in some way. Yeah. And then to make her the head villain, I thought was a neat structure. 
Oh yeah, because like dead, like the the evil dead implied by the title are all about just torture and torment. And yeah, what better a way to really make people suffer than to pervert the entire family dynamic from the top down? Yeah, and and yeah, make that just as mean as possible. And too, like I love their take on the book. And that's the thing too is like the book kind of changes like it doesn't have a face in this one but it's got the teeth on the binding and then you get that foreshadowing of what the king deadite is going to or queen deadite is going to look like in the pages and then they sort of shoot around it for the most part until you know the very end to let you kind of fill in the blanks based on just how horrific the images are the old recording I thought was great I love the record gag was was fun and uh yeah and just seeing that you know, writhing human-based monstrosity brought to life was something new that I ha- I'm not used to seeing in these. I feel like they they often go for body horror and they distort and and make yeah. you know pain for the human form. But to see yeah this like fused together creature was like a, a another. That's something I feel like you could play off of and and enhance going forward. You know, and do even more of those kinds of things. All right, John, let you take the reins. Um, I put it out on our community post. I mean, for <laughs> me, I give it a nine point five out of ten. Sure, I'm with you there, and 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 there must be like some kind oh. of random ass Bruce Campbell thing. So if somebody caught it, enlighten us. Great music, John. Let you take the reins on this. Oh, goody. Got some question. Uh, I don't know if there are questions. I see ninety seven comments, but um, oh, go ahead. I said we're gonna do a spoiler talk. Um, so let's just. Take it away. What's the top one? The top one. The opening title card hits hard. So good. Uh, and this is from Michael Leger. I hope I'm saying your name right. Which practical effect was your favorite? I really like the sequence with the sheet. That's Ooh. cool. I mean, it's got to be the centipede. <laughs> like yeah, the, whatever you call that. They're like stunt performers involved, too. Like I, don't, I, I would love to know how they brought that to life. There's a thing like that. <sighs> I don't want to ruin it for John in something. <laughs> But there's a thing in something. Mm. If you guys know me, you might know <laughs> what I'm referring to. But yeah, there's a thing uh, uh, that it, it, I don't want to ruin. But I was like, oh shit, man! If they were able to bring that to life, then they could bring it. Yeah, I don't want to say too much. But um, yeah, I think that was a a fantastic effect. And oh god, there's a lot of great practical effects. There are tons of yeah. I mean, you could just sit there and name them all. I was very struck. It's not maybe the most obvious one, but I was very struck when she starts like bleeding ink out of her eyes, especially like. And I'm sure they can yeah. erase stuff, but didn't look CGI. No, it yeah. didn't look like CG goo. So, like, however they rigged that was was quite impressive. And I mean, yeah. like that that nasty vomit gag, like ugh. Uh, Let's see here. Lee Cronin had stated there are four options for where the franchise could go. It's coming from Rob. Sequel to this one with Beth again at the center. Um, Exploration of the vinyls. Having a John Wick style movie with the priests that read from the book. (laughs) Cleanup crew of the apartment complex a la Rec 2. Go back to the (laughs) cabin in the woods. Where would you like to see the franchise go next? Uh, I think it would be an interesting, personally, I think it would be a more interesting experiment to do Beth again at the center Mm. because I think with Evil Dead, other than when you have the show, I think part of what makes Evil Dead cool is you only get just enough mythology. Yeah. And I don't know. I I don't really care to do the back of the apartment again. (laughs) Uh, And then back (laughs) to the cabin in the woods like that. You're, you're retreading at that point. Yeah. Which I'm sure would be entertaining as hell, but you are just retreading at that point. Yeah. Um, So a sequel to one with Beth again at the center allows for, the, the evolution of the character you could even do a little bit of a time jump if you want to or or you could do something really interesting where you just pick it up mo- the same night <laughs> yeah, yeah and just like really keep it i mean the, yeah like narratively i think that would be interesting because i was always one to be like please let's do evil dead 2 with mia uh so to see beth back at the center i think would be good i think the the, the john wick style is a bit of a reach it could be cool I'll throw my hat in for the Rec 2 style just because I think that could be an interesting way to carry it on. You could get Beth back, but have a new set of people uh, affected by this and then maybe take it outside the apartment or something. Why don't we go with this one, John? Ooh. Uh, the Video Club Random. Massive fan of the franchise. I like both the 2013 remake and this new one, but don't you think that in these more serious tone without the style and humor of Raimi and Campbell, like in the uh, O. Oh, Original trilogy. Original trilogy. There you go. And the series, it becomes just uh, another horror movie, missing that unique characteristic that made Evil Dead stand out. 
Um, I wouldn't say that at all. I mean, like, I certainly understand missing the campiness and the Bruce Campbell, more Three Stooges style comedy and that presence of, like, you know, the guy who is a total braggart but is also inept in various ways until he, you know, rises. But I the think. The first one was pretty serious, too. Yeah, I think people forget that. And, and I. I think that what they've done nicely in 2013 and in this new installment is they have honed in on some of just i think the more core elements which is yeah it's that element of gleeful torment that mean you know punchy energy it's wet it's gross it's practical but it's I, like 2013 and this one have that quality where they're not as outwardly fun and funny but you can tell behind the camera whoever is directing this is like giggling at what they're putting these poor cast folks through yeah <laughs> so I, I think they still maintain the the style but there's a certainly a divide between the ot and the new ray mar saw the movie loved it Alyssa sutherland as ellie was the best part of the movie hands down her facial expressions are incredible however what did you think about the protagonist beth my only problem with her character is that there's nothing that really gets me invested in her to care much we're introduced to her finding out she's pregnant, yet it has little impact because we know nothing about her. I just wish we got time with her to actually get behind her character. What'd you all think? Thanks. Uh, I feel like in this movie, it is her journey of deciding whether or not to become a mom. That was sort of what I was picking up on. I feel like she yeah. was showing up to there to talk about maybe getting rid of the baby. <laughs> Wait, and, should I keep it or not? Yeah. 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 And... And then, you know, she sees, like, the struggles of what it's like to have and, like, going to see her sister specifically who has kids and get an experience of of that, you know. Um, and then, you know, I even got a gift for the dad. And, and so she gets this experience of, like, oh, here's what it's like being a mom. Oh, what if the dad leaves? What if I don't have the support? And then as she goes through this journey with having the kid, uh, with, with, like, trying to protect the children and stuff, uh, I, I feel like that's her deciding I am good enough to become a mom. Like, I, I can become a mom. So I, I thought it was interesting because as the kids were dying, she just decided to become mom. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. But I think, too, you learn a lot about her through like the there's, family. There, yeah, there's a choice that what the kid, little girl asks her, are you going to be a mom? And yeah. she, and in that moment, she's going, I'm going to be. Yes. And I think yeah. part of her saying that is her going, I'm also going to adopt you and get you the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah. it's both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I do think that, yeah, even though there are a lot of other characters to focus on. I think we do learn about her and what her struggles are and what her life is through her interactions with the other characters. So I, I didn't feel like anything was missing really. Um, kind of covered that. Kind of covered that. I feel like we should do at least one more. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Let's take this one. The bearded cinephile. Mm -hmm. Uh, John, take it away. Sure. What do you make of the irony that the thing that brings Danny the most joy, DJing and using his turntables and spinning some sweet LCD sound system jams, ultimately destroys almost all of his family because he plays the Book of the Dead record on his record player? I found that fascinating. Yeah, I mean, early on, the, like there was a moment partway through where I was expecting that the, all three of the kids might live... But then it started to make a lot more sense, especially after, you know, the first daughter goes like, yeah, like part of these movies are are punishing. And certainly Danny is punished for his passion, too. For, for his, his passion, passion and, and his curiosity. curiosity. Yeah. yeah. So I thought that was like without being like super on the nose, I thought it made for a good gag with the record player and the f like when he can't get the needle off of it and stuff like that and uh, and yeah a, a good piece of irony tragic irony for that character no it's tragedy that's his love and it punishes him in, in the end yeah because you know like i i think the whole thing with awakening the dead uh, leads to a lot of the time being like what a bunch of freaking idiots yeah you know but this is la and out here in la you know like yeah don't get me wrong there's a, like a lot of different religions out here and and people who are non-believers, that, that's also very prevalent out here. <laughs> like, there's a lot of people who don't believe in God and stuff. Mm. So to me, for a kid to just go down there and find some spooky shit, but be like, oh, it's cool, we can actually sell... I, I bought what he was doing. Yeah. I, I bought his curiosity with it all. And they were yeah. wondering about the vault. The building itself is run yeah. down anyway, so it's like the, the basement. they down. Yeah. yeah, like the basement. And that, too, it's yeah. like, oh, this is, someone might just bury this in rubble if we don't kind of look around in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, hey, guys, uh, thank you for all who uh, submitted questions. Next time, I just got to remember, um, I like the glossy, slick look for this Evil Dead film, by the way, just me. There's someone who asked that. I, I, I like it. The I, think, I think when you have... 
I think that's what helps separate. Well, well okay. Oh, this is funny. All right. Just Reese says, do you think this was too glossy slick for an evil dead film? I personally miss a gorilla filmmaking early installments. I think what's really cool is, you know, when Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell are doing it yeah. is when you have more of that style. Mm-hmm. When even with the show, like there's a certain type of like, yeah, we're kind of just having fun with winging it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, it's composed, but there's, there's a looseness to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, where the other Evil Dead can branch off with these other versions that it's like, as long as you keep like Necronomicon, Deadites, and whatnot, um, then then you could have more of this like glossy cinematic appeal look to it. So I think it's neat when you could have kind of both sides, mm. you know, and that's one of the unique things about the franchise to me. But guys, what did you think about Evil Dead Rise? Thank you all those submitted some questions. We'll get to those a little quicker next time. This was an experiment, so I kind of forgot about it. Uh, in the heat of the moment, I, like and I was though. like, "Oh shit, we need to remember <laughs> to do the questions." I know, I so totally, many good ones. I totally, uh, um, I totally put that out there, and I was like, "I'm so caught up in reviewing it." No. I'll remember next time to get to it quicker. But thank you guys so much. Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe. You can follow us on Patreon. Thank you to G Fuel once again. And hey, we'll uh, catch y'all very soon. Mm-hmm.